about time. All right, welcome back. This video is just kind of wrap up the Texas trip. It's kind of like a 2020, some kind of Scott Martin does, but I want to clarify something because I know I'm probably going to get questions. Why did I see all these Texas videos throughout the month of May? Well, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get much fishing in through the entire month of May because on the way back from Texas, I actually broke my trailer. Uh, yeah, snapped clean in half, one of the cross members um, back by the end of the trailer. And it took me about two and a half weeks to find a welder to fix it. Um, but eventually I did. Thank you, Ross. Appreciate that. And uh, so the boat was good to go, but then I had truck problems. So pretty much the entire month of May was either boat problems or truck problems, completely shot. Uh, but on a positive note, everything's good to go for the summer, so hopefully a lot of content comes out. Anyway, I want to talk specifically about Canyon Lake. On this lake, I think I got some messages on Instagram asking how, how did I know where to go on this lake. So, specifically on Canyon Lake, what I'm going to go through is kind of how I actually researched um, which spots I was going to fish first. Um, the, the good things and the bad things that I kind of learned from trying those spots and trying different spots. And uh, also I'm going to talk about the lake house. At the end of the video I'm going to show you around the lake house that I actually stayed in. Again, huge thank you to Flip Flop Cove, Canyon Lake House. They, they put me up for the entire trip. Uh, basically pay for my gas to get down there and back and um, help me produce this content for you. So huge thank you to them. There's going to be a link to in all my Texas fishing videos. The very first link is going to be to their Airbnb. Uh, if you're interested in staying at Canyon Lake, the house is only like 150 feet from the boat ramp number eight, so it's super close. Um, if you got a boat, or you can even kind of swim in that area. So let's just get into how I scouted this lake out. A few people messaged me on Instagram asking, you know, kind of what I did to prep for this. Um, I actually talked to my friend SK, SK Crappie Catching Adventures, and he gave me the most info. Um, he basically said, at the time I was asking him, the crappie were pretty much done spawning. He said there might be a few spawners up shallow, but start looking for that post-spawn phase. He said start looking for them in brush piles between 10 and 15 feet of water. Um, usually it's that first ledge from where their spawning bays are. Um, so basically all I did, I just went on Google, I typed in brush piles on Canyon Lake. And the first link that pops up, or one of the first links, is the Texas Wildlife, uh, Texas Fish and Wildlife uh, site. And the cool thing about Texas is a lot of these lakes where they have man-made fish locators, I think that's what they call them, man-made brush piles, um, they actually show you a detailed map of where they are, and they show you a GPS coordinate so you can plug them into your sonar unit. Um, so that's kind of the first part of how I started researching this. The second one, I went on some fishing boat forums, and uh, I found one post about three years ago. Uh, somebody was catching them in marinas. So there's, I believe there's two marinas. There might be more. I could be wrong on that. But I fished two separate marinas. Uh, didn't catch any fish. Zeroed out on the marinas. But it was the second place I kind of found information on. And the third place, and this is not a sponsored video, but I actually pulled up Fish Brain. Um, I actually, I, I did this like two days left into the trip. I found some people caught uh, crappie on the Guadalupe River, which is that combined with I met someone uh, while I was fishing the marina and he said, yeah, normally I catch them way up river. I just thought I'd try the marina. Um, so local information plus uh, the fishing app. Yeah. So I basically decided to run up river the last two days. And as you saw, I found the big ones. Um, it took me a while. The first day I, I caught some small fish. I, it took me a while to run into them. But uh, so that's kind of how I, I went about finding this information. Google is your friend. Google is your friend. Google Maps is your friend. Um, Navionics web app shows you uh, contours of the lake and a lot of times Navionics actually has uh, brush pile marks on the map. So that's another tool you could probably use. I'm going to list all the tools I used just in the description below because I know people are probably going to ask. That's pretty much all I did to prep for this trip. Uh, once I was down there, the first day, I had about three and a half days because it, it completely rained one day and then it, it was about half day of rain and then I I was able to fish again, but so a day and a half of complete thunderstorms and no fishing. It was a, it was a wash. Um, but the first day I went around the main lake, and actually the second day I did too, fishing those brush piles that I found uh, on the Texas State Wildlife website. 
It turned out to be a big mistake because I, I wasted a day and a half, pretty much two days, um, on the main lake and it was super clear water. I spent one morning in the marina and uh, again, gin clear water, no fish to be found. I did catch a few small largemouth, uh, but other than that, there was nothing in there. And I uh, ran into that local, he said, go try up river, um, combined with fish brain app. So I went up there and as you saw the first day, I ran upstream, caught some smaller ones on some submerged trees and some laydowns. Um, I guess they're fallen trees, but they're sitting in 10 to 15 feet of water. And what I noticed on the second day, the, the day that I did catch them pretty good. I think the big one was two, 12 and a half inches. I think the biggest crappie I caught, but I caught quite a few in that 10 to 12 inch range. The bigger fish were actually on the standing timber. Um, it was submerged timber, but it was still standing up and down. The smaller fish were on fallen timber. Um, so take that for what it's worth for fishing your local lakes or fishing a new lake in your area. Uh, that's where I found those bigger fish. So I guess 2020, hindsight, I wouldn't have spent so much time on the main part of the lake, but driving 1,200 miles to a brand new body of water, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, tournament guys do it all the time. Unfortunately, I only had three and a half days and then the tournament's over and I gotta go back home. But uh, I had fun the last two days, yeah, caught fish, found them at the end. It could have been a much, the trip could have been really bad if I didn't find any fish, so. I'm happy with it. Those are the, that was pretty much the, uh, the good and the bad. The good is I was able to take some information that I found later in the week, use it to find some fish to put out, to make some content for you. And uh, the bad part was I, I wasted almost two days on the main part of, main body of water and wasn't able to catch fish. Uh, but I do want to show you this lake house. It's a pretty cool lake house. You can rent it for just a weekend or you know, if you got a family vacation type of thing, it's a pretty cool setup. Uh, if you're going to go fish, I suggest you run up the Guadalupe River. It's actually, luckily it's on the upstream side of the lake. So the Guadalupe River is really close from where the boat launch is, right next to the house. Um, so I'm actually going to jump into that and kind of show you around the house. Again, huge thank you to Canyon Lake House. Flip Flop Cove on Instagram. You can follow them right here. All right, let's get into the house. We're actually back at the house, wrapping it up. And uh, I just realized I haven't, I haven't shown a walk through the house real quick. This is actually a pretty cool place. Come on. So this is the actual house. It's, it's pretty big actually. It's a cool set. Oh, so it's actually, it's actually a pretty big house. It's a two story. There's, well, let's go through the kitchen here. Nice little kitchen here. Yeah. I might be addicted to pop, but oh well. Yeah, so they got stove, full fridge, like everything you could possibly want or need. Got this cool little, there's a buck. 10 point Texas buck. Oh wait, is that 10? Yeah, I think it's 10. One, two, three, four, I think there's one on that side. Yeah, I think that's a 10 pointer. This is my editing corner. Yeah, right there, got the, uh, Got the cooler all set up. And then the deck, the main part if you uh, want to barbecue. I actually didn't bring anything to barbecue. Whoa, let's try that. Yeah, check out this. So there is the lake, Canyon Lake, right there. The boat ramp is right, right down the hill. It's like 200 feet down the hill. You just pull out of the garage and, or pull out of the driveway and right there, so quick access to the lake got your entire grill set up charcoal propane firewood stove everything we even got a heater I'm not not really sure I mean it's Texas it can't get that cold this is coming from a guy from northern Wisconsin so check out that view and I caught a bass right where is it it's like there's a little inlet right there. Caught a bass right there. Oh, so we're upstairs now. They got two kind of bedrooms. The master bedroom, or I guess this would be the master bedroom because it's got the bathroom. 
one bedroom over right right there and then bunk beds and the uh the main bed check out this bathroom jacuzzi and everything so huge thank you to flip flop cove canyon lake house this is super trippy right now hold on look at that Ugh. what is going on anyway sorry sorry gotta focus sorry about that uh huge thank you to flip flop cove look them up right here canyon lake house uh on instagram you can click on that link or i'll leave the link below to their airbnb they sponsored this entire trip helped me come down here and uh make some videos for you so huge thank you to them i'm gonna pack up head home Texas, you didn't, you didn't treat me too well the first two days. La this last morning, actually the last morning and then yesterday afternoon for a little bit, you were very kind to me. So appreciate it, Texas. I will probably be coming back. I don't know if I'm coming back here or a different lake in Texas, but uh, appreciate you all for watching. Be sure to click that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. I'll see you back in Wisconsin. Bye.